Here's a detail on the way to the water museum. That's our next stop. I've seen this before. It's commonly done. But a Brazilian once told me, hey, that's not a problem. You just take a sack full of sand, throw it over it, and then climb over the sack. We are now in the water museum <clears throat> of Lisbon. This was a pumping station to lift water up to the Alfama. Now that's a flywheel. <laughs> Steam powered. And there's <coughs> There's a governor. Another governor. auch noch mehr zu sehen. It's a rocker arm, I think that's what I call it, maybe not. Okay, and that truck goes from one end of the building to the other, hand-powered. <clears throat> and it, on both sides. And there's a winch in the middle, which is also on wheels, rope to lift the various pieces into place.
That's a wedge, I believe. It is. And that's a wedge with a screw and a bolt on it. Notice how the casting is made with a non-slip surface put right into the casting. This is that elegant engineering of the late 19th century. Beautiful. No need to make it so fancy, but why not? That you're casting something anyway. This must be where the fires were. At least where they cleaned the ash out. As I said before, now that's a flywheel. <laughs> the fires, the boilers, it says here, you can read the English, were demolished. But this is the way they looked. That would be where they fired them. This is the top of a huge tank. It's full of water. The water's in it, but you can't see it now. But you can, you can tell by the surface that it's uh, arched over, and it's functioning. While we're waiting for the bus, I wanted to point out that this uh, this fence out of steel is built the same way as my fence out of pallets. Uh, there's one panel of steel and then another panel of steel and they're bolted together and then there's what I call a pilaster to back it up. Now it also has the concrete ones. And here the pilaster goes higher. It goes up to the second course. <laughs> 